Hi everyone, this is Monica Burns for Maroli Design Services creating a tutorial on how to set page roles on your author page. So let's get started. Currently I'm on my actual profile and but we want to go to a business page or an author page or specifically your author page. I'm going to use the My Forever HEA page which is designed specifically as an informational romance hub for readers and for authors to connect. If you're interested in learning more about us, you can click the little About sign here. It gives you a brief overview. Um, and we have several services that you can click on the services that show you what we have available. And then we have a website, which is really awesome. If you click the Learn More button, it'll take you to our website and you can read more in-depth information on what it is that we do and what our goal is for creating an actual community outside of Facebook restrictions and Amazon, basically the big guy pushing down on the little guy. So that's our goal, is to stop that sort of thing and create a place where we can all go and have fun. So let's move on to how to actually change a page role. If you go up here, you see your toolbar on Facebook, and you will click Settings. And it takes you to your actual page settings where you are able to make all kinds of changes. And because for the purpose of this video, we are going to look at page roles. So you'll scroll down and click the page roles link and you come up with this screen. Now currently I'm going to be using Kathy because Kathy is who has the profile in order to run our scheduling service for social media for Moroli Design Services. So you're going to be typing in her name here but this is appropriate for adding any individual that you might want to moderate your page. If you have another personal assistant that you want to be able to have answer comments or so forth you can add them as well. There are several different types you only want to add someone as an admin who you completely trust say a family member or um, a best friend that has been with you for 15-20 years. Um, this is a very high rights. It gives you rights to do basically anything to your page. The editor is going to be able to do almost everything the admin can do with the exception of doing any real damage. So the descriptions of what the individual can do are directly underneath um, like in this area. So an ed editor can send messages and publish as the page, respond, delete comments, um, create ads, etc. There are other items here, moderator, advertiser, analyst, law coordinator, uh, live coordinator. You can go up here and simply type in how does it work and Facebook will take you to a help page for that. But for the purposes of our video today we're going to be dealing with editors. So in order to create an editor or invite someone in to be an editor of your specific author page. And for the purposes of this video, it's Kathy for uh, Maroli Design Services. You're going to type in her email, a t h i dot skiers. Now, if you happen to be friends with the individual that you're adding to the page, to give a page role to, as you can see, it comes up with your friends that you have and you can select those as well and it sends them a private message versus an email which is what we're going to do here to add Kathy .com. and that would be Kathy K-A-T-H-I dot Skears S-C-E-A-R-C-E -E, at gmail. Now you cannot have a, a, a role attached to a page. It has to be an actual profile and our scheduling software is listed under Kathy's name, so you are going to have to make sure that this email address is correct 
you click add and Facebook sends a message or an email to Kathy which she accepts and then it will add her Facebook will add her as an editor in this area right here and again you can see what sort of rights she'll have for monitoring your page and that is all you have to do it's pretty simple and if you have any questions please holler we're happy to help and thanks for watching